So the sons of God shows up in the book of Job 1, 6, 2, 1, and 38 verses 4 through 7. And these are the angels that are presenting themselves before God's throne in heaven, whom Satan also accompanies. And what's interesting as well is in Job 38, sons of God are there with the morning stars at the time of creation. Humans aren't there at the time of creation. And stars, the host of heaven, sons of God, and angels are used together often, not all four at the same time, but in different combinations, which I'll show you, you know, in the document to, to know that they're talking about the same thing. They're also not the sons of God, as Israel is called, because they're going to happen much later. And that's an allegory, because they're not a son of God. There's only one true sort of son of god and then there's these sons of god and they have different creations right they could have made so this simpler need, couldn't they <laughs> yeah greater than the pantheon he's greater than the fallen angels because he's alpha omega and had the fallen angels understood that there was going to be a resurrection they wouldn't have had jesus crucified right. as the book of corinthians talks about so they don't know everything they're telling their followers that they do, and God is just another angel just like them. Mm. But that's the, that's the two sort of different belief systems we have on earth. And if people think secular is a third one, no, it's, it's a puppet string of the, uh, of the polytheists. So you have to understand what's behind the curtain in terms of science. As I said, it was a knowledge religion, and they created the seven sacred sciences that we call the seven liberal arts today. And that's what merged in the time of the flood, uh, before the flood, with the knowledge from heaven, the illicit knowledge, or the gods that providing the knowledge in polytheism. And this is the knowledge that is going to help parade the antediluvian epoch into destruction and the same knowledge that we're now starting to catch up to. So it'll be like the days of Noah. Um, with all of the technology that, that, we, that we're having access to today.